Hello guys, uh, so today I'll be playing the newest or the current released NBA 2K23 Arcade. So it was just released for like 3 days or 2 days ago. 3 days rather because it's October 21 today and it was released October on October 18 and yeah right now I've started choosing my career and edit it, my pers uh, my preferred kind of character since uh, 2k has offered me a shoe which is from Devin Booker shout out to that So let's skip into that editing part. Now let's name our character. So first name would be Henry. The last name. Oh, I have to type that again. The last name. Now let's just choose Caruso. Caruso. Caruso is a good name. Come on, Caruso, like Alex Caruso from, he's currently in Chicago Bulls right now, but I'll be choosing team where he really, like, built up his fame or skill set where he was really most popular in the So now, Let's check on to the physical attributes and I have to choose whether what kind of well for you you could choose whatever you want but for me in my case in my approach I would choose what's really close to my kind of play since in real life I play as a point guard so I have to balance all all of those things all those physical attributes now let's go to the skills break breakdown for this part I've got to choose hmm, probably where I would prefer my character dominating in and I would like him to dominate the playmaking side I guess so yeah let's choose the second one and the third one let's choose between the second one third one and the fourth one so in between these two in between these three rather I will choose play making as one of my priorities or you know where I should be better at so 2k has given us this 424 perks point for perks points so yeah just have to click on those uh, abilities and add it up I'll definitely make my dunks and layups at its peak of course I have to shoot from the rainbow country how about the playmaking since I'm the point guard I've got to be better at passing of course 
Let's handle the ball properly. What else? Interior defense is one of my, as I could say, my strength. Lateral, 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 lateral quickness. Gotta maximize that. So we could properly, we could quickly run and not, you know, like be a saggy, slow player. Side of court. Gotta raise that back too so that we could be effective defensively. Got to race a little bit on a shooting mid range. Make sure everything's balanced between my shooting, offense, my rebounding defense. Choose whatever you want. First, of course, you would like to choose choose the best, or pick up, pick the points that you would like to really be strong at first. Then the rest would follow. So I've got twenty points left. Gotta balance that out between post fadeaway and post moves. So of course, can't be good at post fadeaway when you're not good at your post moves. Oh, let me see. I think need a little bit more of that post fadeaway points. Check that out. Check that in. It's fair enough. So, yep. I'll choose 6-6. Six, 6-6. Six. Six, six. Six, six will do. Oh. So, oh my weight just went down. Ra or my speed rather just went down after putting up some weight. And course let's put the height at its maximum so it's only up until six foot six for the point guard couldn't add more let's check whether what are the perks and what are the differences of having this wingspan well, I guess I've got to put on a not so long wingspan because my mid range will go down. So, I guess that's it. Can choose our special ability Playmaker. Playmakers can freeze defenders more often than the ball. Slasher. Well, most probably I'm a slasher. In real life, I do always. Come slash. You always slash on the right, slash on the left. Gotta make that explosive move. Of course, the final touch. How many minutes per quarter? Let's just set and see that. Blah blah blah. Rookie offer. Rookie offer. Of course, Caruso. His first team. I'm not mistaken or his first uh, first team that made him really hyped basketball at social media everything but in generally Lakers is my favorite team so there you go you have to save it save it in your iCloud so that you could use it on your app
App Store or Game Center account with a different device. So just you just need have you just need to log in and save so that when you use a different Apple device you could access that again. So yeah. I think that's one of the perks of being able to save it on your iCloud. Or maybe at your game set. Save your progress. Never leave your account behind. Huh. So I've already settled all the settings, changed the view into 2K kind of camera view. As you could see, it's just a scrimmage between the Lakers team, all the dark side versus the light color. Dark colored post rather, it sounded bad <laughs> well please bear with my English as you, as you could see the, that is my character Henry Caruso and I'll just be commentating because the record so record isn't really taste oh what an assist what an assist bro <laughs> he just called that player and just did it behind the back. So just a fun thing about this arcade. Looks realistic in a way. 2K can't really... No, there, there's a significant difference between the Apple's NBA and NBA 2Ks. This is much more animated, I would say. Since it's arcade, and the name itself. Don't say. Don't say. Don't say Caruso. Oh, there you go, LeBron. LeBron is always LeBron. While well, I'm here asking what controllers or what am I using to control my character. Well, I'm just using a keyboard. I do not have any analog. Oh, come on. Gotta watch out next time. Stepping that, stepping on that back line. Would cost us a possession. Pick a pocket. Okay. Since we had a takeover, we pressed that T. Well, that's a new feature, so I've pressed it. You have seen the logo a while ago. You could look back that there is like a fire indicator which tells if you could press on that uh, takeover feature of this game as you could see it's running progressively uh, down but whatever shot you take as long as it's not that very far away i guess would it would be a good possession it would go in so let's take another shot I missed that let's use the advantage of this as you can see 
could easily get a steal and a three point. And there you go, take over is empty. Less than five seconds left. Assist. Oh. Was a good game, good, pretty good exhibition. Well, going back to what I've told you a while ago, I was just using a keyboard. And if you want to maximize or you want to, to get the best like potential of yours whenever you're playing, just uh, you know, goodbye any PlayStation analog controller or Xbox controller and connect it on your Mac. I guess that's pretty much it for the NBA 2K22 Arcade Edition. Thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed.